Hello and welcome to Ak Sharda Public Schools Digital Library. Today we are going to learn about parts of speech to understand that there are eight main parts of speech in English language. To learn about each of them, to be able to use all of them on daily basis. So let's begin. All words in English language belong to a world class called parts of speech. There are eight main parts of speech. They are noun, pronoun, verb, adjective, adverb, conjunction, preposition, interjection. Children, today we are going to learn about noun, pronoun, verb, adjective. So let's start. Noun. Nouns are words that describe a place, person, animal, thing or an idea. Let's look at the words that come under each of them. City, town, country, world, Taj Mahal, etc. All kinds of places. Person, doctor, teacher, mother, brother, rishi, etc. All kinds of people we know around us. Animal, dog, rabbit, cat, lion, etc. All kinds of animals we know. Think, table, cup, bag, bus, car, etc. All kinds of non-living things around us. And yes, idea, internet, online, law, subject, etc. So these are the names given to various things around us. Let's look at an example to understand this better. Mr. Rajput is going through the market in his car. In this sentence, Mr. Rajput, market, car are nouns. Mr. Rajput is the name of the person in the car. Market is the place he is going to. And car is the thing he will be traveling in. So this is how children, we are aware of many nouns on daily basis whenever we speak, read or talk to anybody. Let's look at another part of speech here. Pronouns. A pronoun is used in place of a noun. It may take place of a person, place or a thing. Let's look at the words that are known as pronouns. I, you, we, us, he, she, they, him, his, her, they, them, are, there, it. So this is how we use pronouns in place of a noun. Whenever we are talking and we do not repeat the name of that particular person or people that we are speaking with. Let's look at an example to understand this better. They will let us know on the phone. In this sentence, they and us are the pronoun used instead of the names of the people. Let's understand the next part of speech here, that is verb. A verb can tell what action someone or something is doing. Let's look at these words here. Walk, talk, jog, jump, hop, play, move, groove, drive, dive, sand, sit. So these are, as you can see, the actions that we do or see happening around us. So, verbs always describe the action done by someone or something. Let's look at an example to understand this better. The rabbit is hopping in the farm. In this sentence, hopping is the verb. That is, it is doing the action. This is how we come to know about verb when we look at any action done by someone. Let's move to the next part of speech that is adjectives. 
An adjective describes a noun or a pronoun. Let's look at these words here that play the role of an adjective in every sentence. Beautiful, pretty, gorgeous, big, small, huge, tall, tiny, smart, dull, intelligent, sunny, hot, cold, warm. So in this way, these words specify the quality or quantity in any kind of sentence when it comes along with a noun or a pronoun. Let's look at an example to understand this better. Dinosaurs are huge animals. So in this sentence, huge describes the kind of an animal dinosaurs are. That's all for today, children. Thank you.